Heyo everybody, Haku here with the full results for the Tower of God character popularity poll. All 400 characters, all the vote totals for all of them, We, uh, I'm going to show them all for you. Uh, but before I do that, I wanted to do just some quick intro stuff just to talk about the poll and uh, different things that went on with that for anybody that was sort of out of the loop. Uh, before we go into the full results. So gonna do that really quick. This is probably going to be pretty long because again there are 406 characters to talk about. So the character popularity poll ran from uh, the 24th of July to the 24th of August and uh, yeah thank you so much to everyone who voted in it. We ended up with, I have the full vote total on like the top 100 page, but off the top of my head trying to remember it, we ended up with like 17,481 votes from 6,048 unique voters, which is insane. I want to give a huge thank you to all of you who voted and participated, to everybody watching but who didn't get a chance to vote, uh, if you're watching this a little bit later. Um, and a big, big thank you to everybody who kept sharing the poll and all the updates on it on Twitter, to all the uh, other Tower of God YouTubers and streamers who um, helped to share it, especially uh, Kick the Cam Productions and Dr. Bonehead who talked about it in their reactions every week and Dr. Bonehead talked about it in Towers and Gods. Uh, so big, massive, massive thank you to all of you. Um, so yeah, big thank you to everyone for being a part of it. Uh, it was insane to see that kind of turnout because for me I was like 2,000 votes bare minimum but I want to shoot for 5,000 and then we ended up hitting over seven or over 17,000. That's absolute insanity. It's so crazy. It's so cool. So uh, thank you. And then, of course, when the poll ended this Wednesday on the 24th, uh, all I got as the person, like, just sort of being kind of admin behind the poll, uh, were the characters' names and vote totals and stuff. So I had to turn those into something visual to present to you all. So I have been working 12 plus hours a day since then uh, to get those done, and they are finally now done. Uh, I'm going to be sending them, or will. I, as I'm recording this, as of me recording this, I guess I have sent them. Yeah, I, I again, when I record things compared to when you see things, I always get confused about time stuff. But I'm sending these out to uh, all of the other Tower of God um, YouTubers and streamers. So you may have seen them post something before me if they recorded their stuff before I recorded this or if they streamed uh, before this. Nobody streamed yet or else I would have been watching it. Uh, but tonight Dr. Bonehead is streaming his so definitely if you're watching this video as soon as I post it, if I post it before then, um, definitely go watch his reactions. I'm sure everybody else will be doing reactions. I'm so excited uh, to see everyone else's. Um, and then I will be, the images I'm using for this, I'll be putting those out publicly so that you can have them to keep or to share or to whatever. Uh, they're massive, massive images, so the file size is actually kind of kind of large for them. Um, but uh, yeah, again, I guess thank you. I just wanted to say that it was a month long, wanted to say how many votes and voters we had, wanted to say that there were 406 characters to choose from and what's wild is I've looked at a bunch of other like Hero Academia character polls, early One Piece, a bunch of other like manga that do character polls and like they'll have a couple thousand for like the top two or three characters but then like you get to 10th place and it's like 16 votes but 16 votes doesn't even get you into the top 100 here. What is so wild is how spread out the votes are like how many characters like all got votes. Um, of course part of the rules for this, why we have more votes than vote than unique voters, is I gave everybody three votes a day. I figured doing it that way because so many other character polls that are official do it the same. The last official Pokemon character poll gave you like five votes a day for however long it was. I know the last One Piece poll was like three months long and you got a vote a day but mail-in votes counted for ten. So I was like I'll do three votes a day for everyone. That way it's like so many people, your favorite character is probably one of the main characters like Bomb or Kuhn. But I was like, give give you three votes a day. If you want to spend all three of those on Bomb or Kuhn, it's fine. But if you get three, then you can spend one on them. And if you have two characters that are like, you know, kind of side characters, but you're like, I like them too. It gives you a chance to throw a vote or two their way. Um, I thought that it would be a lot better that way. Um, and it would keep people's attention to keep coming back and voting daily if they wanted to. Uh, but yeah, I guess people, on average, most people just voted less than three times uh, in general. Um, so yeah, just wanted to again mention that it was done that way. 
and all the characters, since I said there were 406 options, the characters that were included I kind of based off my uh, screen time notes, which is any character that is recurring or that has an introduction box from um, from CU in the actual manhwa itself was included. Plus there were a few that I didn't take screen time notes on because I didn't think they were recurring enough that I threw in here anyway, like some of the season one characters like Lozeal and stuff that I was like, I want to put in here anyway because people will know who they are and people might want to vote for them, even though I didn't take screen time notes for them because I know they don't appear that much uh, so that it wouldn't really matter. And also, uh, I threw in lore characters as well, and I'm glad I did because people liked voting for them. Um, so I threw, the, I threw in those as well. But yeah, I guess that's everything uh, you need to know information-wise. I just wanted to make sure to give out some thank yous and to give you that information before we get into the results. Uh, so that you would have sort of full transparency, full knowledge uh, of everything. But yeah, uh, let's first then, to go from bottom to top, let's jump into the characters that didn't get any votes whatsoever. Okay, so to first start things out, these are your characters, a tie for 265th place, all of the characters that had absolutely zero votes. Let's zoom in and look at some of these, go through all of these. Uh, so we're starting out, characters that had zero votes, I want to make sure to zoom in plenty so that you can see as much as possible. Uh, Blaru's with zero votes, Chung Chung, Luzeal, the bull is a little bit surprising because, I don't know, I feel like people kind of remember the bull sort of fondly from season one. Missai Strawberry, Yubuk Doll, Alumic pulling zero votes, this one is hilarious to me. Hilarious to me. Apple, I don't, uh, and Traveler. Apple, Michael, and Traveler pulling zero votes out of over 17,000. Nobody, nobody voted for Apple, Michael, or Traveler whatsoever. Uh, no votes for Maddox. He was the guy in charge of the experiment workshop with um, uh, Kasano and Horyang. Uh, no votes for Noma. Remember, he was the flower of Zygaena floor. He was the test administrator there. Uh, none for Vivi Olga or Paul Belkron, Masha, Redong, the Gladiator Ranker, getting into some of the um, characters from Workshop Battle. Uh, none for Pokin or Gunter, Bellix, Devil Bon, Royal Park or Juglum Gote, Ras or Rasatane. I always like Rasatane, Rasatani, Aegil. I, um, I thought it was so funny when making this results page, when I'm just like... You know I've done too much Tower of God content when I'm looking at some of these images and I'm like, oh yeah, that's Juglum Gote. Oh yeah, that's uh, that song. And like, I just know these are random, random characters. Um, actually, I'll just sort of move back from the bottom to the top. The Data Snake Charmer I thought was really cool, especially as a concept, being the one who like selects princesses or whatever. I thought the Data Snake Charmer like... I'm surprised there weren't more votes there. Um, Fonsekal Yorode's data, Yoram, the High Leech Monks. And then all of Heljo's minions, none of Heljo's minions got a single vote. Any of them. Uh, Grand Asal, Lopo Bia Porp. Everyone always wanted to talk about where's Lopo Bia Ren? Uh, we're getting into Lopo Bia stuff. Where's Ren? Where is the boy Lopo Bia Porp? Where is Porp at? Uh, we got Vari Alvani, Lulu, Yukon, some of the uh, 10 bosses, JM, the pink girl from Name Hunt Station, Red Gramon. Nobody voted for Red Greymon. Um, yeah, a shame. Nobody voted for Red Greymon. Red Greymon has, like, such potential to be such a good meme character. Uh, you got Marte, Chagrinsky, um, Hess, Yadu, Kranka. Uh, Belberhino or Belberino. I always called him Belberhino, but then now that I think about it more, I'm like, is it supposed to be Belberino? I'm not sure. Uh, Poro Po pulling a big zero votes, and I am cool with that because I'll be honest with you, I've never liked Poro Po. I felt like the flashback with Team Boro was so good, and I'm like, Poro Po is like the sixth wheel to that flashback, and I'm like, get this guy out of here. Uh, we got Jong Dragon. Dragon who honestly, when I was like making the poll and had to find images to put on the character poll for every option, I like, I put Dragon because it was in my screen time notes, but then when it came to find images, I was like, who is Dragon? I like, it took me a bit to figure out who Dragon even was. Um, 
We have Rose slash D, the treasure eating Stingray, Minazuki, uh, Jock and Chung, two of the big breeders, Kun's sister pulling a big zero, the stupid mirror, the mirror of the past, stupid scale, I hate it. Um, Arvin Lou, I hate the floating heads too, screw Arvin Lou. Red Bruvia, who let's, let's zoom in on this guy. I love his face. His face is hilarious. I love Red Bruvia's face. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Um, we have the Vice Alter Director. Sad, pulling zero votes, and Yolker and Tinker Yolche. And Tinker Roche isn't here. Who voted for Tinker Roche, but not Tinker Yolche or Yolker? I, and Yolker, his design's so cool. Ah, man, what a disappointment. I really thought, I really thought we were going to get more there. Uh, Lee Jawoon and Lee Sowa from the uh, Last Station. Uh, more Last Station characters pulling zero votes. Mogary, Alex, Trio, Polo, the Purple Eye Brothers, Navigator. Shout out to Misa, Beachy, and Powler. Uh, we got Holly. Just a bunch of characters that were probably mostly uh, one-shot by uh, White. Uh, moving back up to the top here because I am doing this inefficiently, I'll be honest with you. Uh, we got Knife, H23 and H14, Yuryu and Ryuan, Alpathian, Cool Nassam K. Nobody voted for Deathbird. That's surprising to me. I feel like Deathbird was a fairly popular... <laughs> popular is not the right way to put it, but like, people liked Deathbird as like a meme character. People were always joking about Deathbird. Uh, you got Death Karambit, Jay and Wei, who were uh, Cool Nassam K's... Um, uh, servants. You got Shakul, Chatanoa, Buen. What happened to Buen? Where's Buen? Did Buen didn't die, did he? Buen was um Ha Jinsung's little robot friend uh, in Last Station. You got Nyono Wan, you got Kel, Bongso, Colden pulling zero votes. This is one. Gato and Kanzone did all this fighting, all this rivalry, just for nobody to like them enough to throw a single vote at them? Zero Gato and Kanzone votes? Nothing for Dutong, nothing for Ha Chai, which I'm cool with. Because, again, why am I randomly discussing characters in this video, of all things? Uh, don't like Ha Chai. I, I, I really dislike his design. I, I just, I don't like him. Uh, the person who might be at Crafter's Daughter pulling a big zero votes, which is a little bit, a little weird. We got R, we got the uh, Akronak and Workshop Soldier from Yasracha's flashback, who again I took notes on because like they killed all Yasracha's friends or whatever, so I'm, and like they were the liaison for Yasracha and Wang Wang, so I was like, are they going to be important in the future just in case? Uh, the same goes for the high ranking Ha family member from Choni's flashback. Um, I'll also do this row too since I know my face cams up here. Uh, we got Popadow, Ragma, Enver, and Lou, the trio of fools pulling a big zero votes. Uh, Lopobia, Yodari, and the Red Thrissa surprising. Because the Blue Thrissa isn't here on the zero vote list, but Red Thrissa has nothing. It's so weird. Uh, you got the three mouthed un or unnamed division commander. You got Lopobia, Yorayo, uh, Arye, Rose Zahard, and Rebecca Pone Zahard. Uh, Pondo Zahard and Haste. Haste didn't get any votes. I like Haste's lore story. Uh, Didiano and Dakoko pulling zero. I kind of like Dakoko. Uh, Pan, Mick Cage, hilariously pulling none, uh, on and Alfred. Arie Hagaferion, who again is a pretty interesting lore character, getting nothing. Same with Yanni Arde, or Illard. Um, Kehelman, who is the most forgettable of the uh, grouping of names with Kel, Kelhelm, Evan Kel, Kelhelman, uh, Kal Rahim, all of, the, uh, all of those names. Kehelman's kind of the most forgettable. Had a pretty cool design, though. Um, Hidden Grove's Lightbearer, Yian Iarde, I already mentioned. Tupuri, Tupuri, pulling zero votes. Delete, Kesa, the other floating head. Immort, pulling none. Robert, Isand, and Tommy from the, uh, from the, what is it? The ranking administration office or whatever? Too raw, though. Too raw was it like a ton of people like me. There's so many good meme characters or potential meme characters that got no votes. And then everybody's out here. You'll see when we get to them voting for Paracule. We got Kal Rahim, uh, May, Mad, and Mai, three of McSeth's children didn't get any votes. Uh, Kel Helm's Tree Buffalo, Mule, the FUG Elder Envoy, uh, Real Moan, the Starbucks Trio, pulling zero votes. Grande Venti and Tall, no votes. Uh, same with R's brother and the Arrogant Kraken. Hold on, let me zoom out and can can I move this to any sort of... The Arrogant Pl or Kraken, Malik One PGR, and Ju Chun up here. I hope my... Uh, my Face cam isn't completely blocking them, but uh, yeah, I should probably check that.
No, no, looks like we're good. You can kind of see, even though it's like way zoomed out. Arrogant Kraken, Malak 1, PGR, and Juchun, Baling, no vote. Same with Ashul Edwaru, the maker of the uh, 13 months. But either way, that was just the zero vote gang, uh, numbers 265 through 406. Uh, I included them just because, like, again, to give you the full information, but also because it's hilarious that Apple and Michael and Traveler got zero votes, no votes for them. Poro Po, who was, again, like, way up in the screen time video with zero. Uh, Gato and Kato and Kanzong or like, I didn't expect them to be popular or anything, but it's surprising that Gato and Kanzone pulled a big zero collectively. Uh, but yeah, either way, let's move into some characters who actually do have votes. And now getting into characters who actually do have votes, we have the one vote, two vote, and three vote gang. One vote gets you a tie for 204th place, two votes gets you a tie for 175th place, and three votes gets you into a tie for 160th. Uh, but let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Uh, with the one vote gang. So one vote gang, we got Lopobia fights or pites. We got McSeth only getting one vote. Uh, Max, Pafama Morsetto, Uni Zahard, Hendolak Gladmary Zahard only pulling one vote. Uh, the Enraged Rapid, the Giant Hairtail Fandor Harp. Uh, the Lopobia branch leader from Yasraktis Flashback, who they brought attention to, but we don't know who they were. Maybe they're from the Wolf branch. Uh, Perseus only pulling a vote. Papa Joni only getting a single vote. Uh, Katra from The Walls, Nanatona, the unnamed Masheni ally who freed Highrider, or in my screen time notes, just Masheni Goon. Um, you got Lopobia Candidi, uh, Lopobia Orari, uh, Coer from The Wall with the Sleeping Forget Me Not, uh, the Hidden Grove Scout, Taro York only pulling a single vote, uh, Fuchile only pulling a single vote. I liked Fuchile. Um, you got Collar, Kong, Levy, the Lever Levy the Ever Curious. Uh, you got Grom, uh, Kun Royale, Elliot, Yan Woon only pulling one vote, uh, Unisona, Lisa Young, the uh, one family member who was good enough to get a vote from the uh, last station, Tinker Roche pulling a vote, but again, not Tinker Yolche or, um, or uh, Yolker from before. Don't get it. Octopus, Kim, Barra Bear, Sworn Enemy. You got Bruegel, Grandaja, Grandalee, Grandasa's son, aka Granda Bitch. Screw the Grand Family, by the way. Um, Miyayum is there. I, I liked Miyayum. Tochi, Mask Girl. Hong Danwa. Poor, I, again, I like Danwa. Only one vote. Uh, Mahan, Felix. And actually, it's neat. Felix, or Felix and Hanul King. I like Hanul King. Um, very forgettable character. A lot of people forget he was there for a long, long time uh, during the Hell Train stuff, at least the early Hell Train stuff. Uh, both of Boro's uh, disciples or whatever, Felix and Hanul Kang, getting one vote each. It's nice that they're together, at least. Uh, you got Majex from Wall Hike Song, I believe. Uh, the Sword Ranker, EO, Grobin, and Pandit made it with one vote. Uh, Bundawan, the Bathman from Hell. Uh, Verdi, Emily, Sophia Amaye, who was the, uh, the, uh, one from the mother figure from Kasano and Horyang's, uh, flashback. You got Yuto, because the real Yuto was there for a little while before getting replaced, uh, with Wariyun at the one-shot, one-opportunity portion of the story. Uh, you got Gitang, Benjamino Kasano. Kasano, that's a hilarious one. Kasano pulling one vote. Oof. Oof, Reflejo, Yuje only pulling a vote. That's that's kind of sad to me. I feel like Yuje should be more popular. Uh, Yuje only with one vote though. Uh, you got Hax, Miss Ice Strawberry's partner. This guy, it's it's again like I mentioned in the one video uh, with Boss Jesse, Doctor Bonehead, and Kick the Can Productions, where I was like talking about McCage being like, this guy's done nothing, but one day he's gonna do something. Miss Ice Strawberry's partner is like Wall Hike Song affiliated, Yuri affiliated, like he's got he's gotta be cool. One day he's gotta do something cool. He's been lurking, lurking in the story since season one. Uh, you got Kurudan, Chopin, um, and Dead A Kancho. Dead D Kancho uh, pulling one vote. Uh, but then getting into our two vote tie for 175th place. Uh, you've got Lopobia Meyer, Lopobia White Garment Widow. Uh, we got Lobi, Dobo, Lopobia Sicarius, Trughe making it with two votes. The Windbird. 
Uh, Tonki is there. I like Tonki. Kan Hong. I also like Water Jelly. How's Water Jelly not a more popular meme character? Only pulling two votes. Uh, I got Funsa Call Jack. Ha Chonhi, which I find hilarious because I feel like I feel like CEO's really been CEO has really been trying to push Ha Chonhi, and I've always been like, why are we getting so much Ha Chonhi focus? Give us Ari Bright Chair, and everybody likes Ari Bright Chair and more, and you don't see Ari Bright Chair in yet because I'm right. Um, yeah, I want more Ari Bright Chair in. People, despite all the Chonhi stuff, and despite her having a good flashback, like a straight up good flashback, uh, only two votes for Ha Chonhi, which is hilarious. Uh, Louis is there, Mian. Uh, Redbeard, Huang, Medley, Rack Sworn Enemy, Ha Ruda, uh, Madarako pulling only two votes, Mia, Pompido slash Hongjo, Pedro the Death Eye, uh, the Green April Spirit, Punk is only there with two votes, Tebow and Rebo, Vespa, hilariously, and didn't I say Verdi only had one vote? Isn't that right? Hold on, let me go back down. Did Verdi, where was Verdi at? Yes, Vi okay, Verdi only has one vote. Vespa only has two votes. I don't think we've gotten yet to, uh, well, Blurus didn't get any votes, but we haven't gotten to Levin. We certainly haven't gotten to Hong Chunwa or to Sun Wunare. So I saw these results and I was like, see you, bring them back. Why did you, why did you replace them with Vespa and Verdi when Vespa and Verdi pulling a combined three votes? Ouch. Um, you got Kim Lurker and Nia Nia, both with two votes each. Uh, and then up into number 160 with three votes each. Uh, I can't wait to see everybody else's reactions. That's just what I'm thinking of. Because for me, like, since I was the one doing, like, admin for all of this, like, and since I made these pages, like, I already know where everybody ended up. Um, but I can't wait to see people's reactions who aren't expecting this. Um, but, uh, yeah, for... Three votes each. We got Arie Hon Zahard, the first Princess of Zahard, uh, Yian Hana, Hendulak Blood Matter, Bayek Ryun, who I'm a little surprised isn't a little bit higher, just because, I don't know, they have a really, really good lore story, so I kind of felt like Bayek Ryun would do better. Uh, the Ancient Giant, Charlie, the Odd Eyed Cobra, Toro from the Hidden Grove. Uh, the unnamed division commander uh, with dark skin, who again is a character who I thought we would get to see more of. Like this guy, he had a cool design. They kept hyping him up with like the Arya stuff and everything during the bomb and white fight. And I'm like, wow, they're hyping this guy up. He's gonna be something cool or do something cool. Uh, and unless he has got some plans for the future, didn't do anything. Uh, we got the Dajang slash boss slash captain. I didn't know which to call him because the translation isn't really uh, consistent on whether they call him boss or captain and the like Korean word that they're using is Dajang. Uh, the one with the long hair, I honestly thought they would have done a little better. We got Datakuna Cardi, who I might need to zoom out a bit so you can see more. I uh, got Datakuna Cardi in there. Uh, and then Batis, the God of Guardians, Arie David, and Levin, all with three votes each. So again, Levin alone pulling a combined Vespa and Verdi vote, not even getting to Chunwa or to uh, Sun Wunare yet. But uh, either way, yeah, we're moving into the top 159, uh, where, as you will see, there will be progressively less and less ties as the vote totals get higher, because, you know, that's just how things filter up. All right, now we got everything for you except the top 100. So you needed 19 votes to make it into the top 100. And this is everyone who didn't make it. Let's again start at the bottom and work our way up here. Uh, so we are starting with characters that had four votes tied for 155th place. We have an Anak Zahard, the original one, the mother Anak. Um, we have Hyun Chung and Rodney, uh, two of the gamblers from the uh, Battle X Gamble from the um, Workshop Battle. The Marotic Guardian and the Hybrider or Hybrider. Um, for five votes, that would get you a tie for 148th place. Uh, we've got a Gus Gus. We have Adi Ayana. We have Verdish slash Verdici, who I will be real with you. I was probably like four of their five votes. Why does nobody like Verdish? Like I like Verdish. 
Uh, Kundevo Perez made it here as well. Hell Joe, oof, only pulling five votes. The Fire Elephant, Pinnacle, with five votes. Uh, with six votes, we had a tie for 146th place between Varagarv and Kendrick Deal. Uh, who I guess, like, this isn't a horrible placement or anything. They got some votes, but I don't know. Feels like we saw a bit of them, you know? Maybe they could have been a little more popular. Uh, in 141st place with seven votes, you've got Tulalan, the spare regular from um, Wall Hike Song. I, who is adorable there. Look at her face. So cute. Um, got Yuliu Mata. Uh, Death Lady. Death Lady, who I wanted more for. I like Death Lady. Uh, and Baylord Paul. Baylord Paul pulling a whopping seven votes, which is, again, not horrible, not terrible. Um, more than a lot of characters, more than over half of the characters, well over half. Uh, but compared to Doom and Yama, ouch. Uh, one, one thirty-eighth place with eight votes. You've got Stua Arthur. This is a weird one. This is a weird three-way tie. To me, at least. Stua Arthur, Ding Dang, and Kunhin Luck. Because again, as somebody who's like constantly interacting with Tower of God fans and stuff, I never hear people bring up, oh boy, you know who I sure love? Stua Arthur, Ding Ding, or Coon Hidden Luck. So that's a bit of an odd one. Uh, in 133rd place, we had nine votes each for Lopobia Alfine, The Ghost of the Thirteen Months, Data Kun Kiseya, I really hope we get to see the real one eventually, uh, Kun Maria, and Lopobia Kirin. Uh, then, going into 10 votes at 129th place, there's Jaina Repolista Zahard, uh, Jalulu, Namo, and Grace Merche, or Grace Merche or Grace Merchia Lizlek. Um, man, kind of wish, I, I always hype up Lizlek. Kind of wish you had a little bit more. Hype him up a bit more, guys. Uh, we had number 127, 11 votes, Lopobia Hasacha and Pobedal Liboric Kun. Again, not terrible, actually. Good for them, especially Hasacha. Good for her. Uh, 12 votes, 123rd place. You've got Fonsical Irude, uh, the sweet fish slash fire fish, pulling a dozen votes. I uh, got Kel Halam, Eurasia Blossom, and yeah, that's it. Four way tie, Eurasia Blossom. Uh, looks like we have another four way tie for 119th place with 13 votes. There's Wang Nan's mom, Yule, who good for Yule, I guess. Uh, Kun Edwan and Ari Han. Again, this is a confusing one for me. Like, steadily, like, again, 13 votes isn't a ton, but steadily throughout the character poll, Ari Han would get some votes here and there. I'd be like, why Why is everybody voting Ari Han? Like, I kind of get Kun Edwan. The Kun family's been more present in the story, but Ari Han was a little bit of a weird one. I was like, huh, why Ari Han? Uh, in 112th place with 14 votes, uh, you had Hong Chunwa. Hong Chunwa finally showing up. Good for him. I like Hong Chunwa. Uh, bring him back, see you. Uh, you have Sola, Lopobia Holen, Hayurin, uh, Little Yoon, Little Yoon. Again, great meme character potential. Uh, Suo and the Daijang slash boss slash captain with the mole. Uh, then there's a three way tie with 15 votes each for 109th place between Alexei Amigochez, Devi, who like had no votes for like the first two or three weeks, and then I guess a couple people just really started voting for him as a meme character, Devi uh, getting up there. And Cobalt! Cobalt could have been like one heck of a meme character if people got behind him to get him higher up in the list. Uh, then there was 104th place with 16 votes, a five-way tie uh, between Ghost slash Akriung, uh, Blosser Elliot, Dorian Frog, Kane and Flux, who Flux getting all these votes made me think, because again, I read, I don't read ahead, I don't read the Raws, I don't read Fast Pass or anything, I react when the official chapter comes out, uh, just so I'm not ahead for, like, videos and stuff. Um, so when I saw Flux getting all these votes, I'm like, did, did Flux show up in the store? Like, because any character that, like, over the past couple weeks that would show up in the chapter would get a little bit of a boost. So Flux getting so many votes, I'm like, T did, Fl did Flux show up in the actual story? Why, why is Flux getting these votes? Um, so that was a little surprising. Uh, only one person with 17 votes. 103rd place is Yo Gosang, who sadly, I guess, is that our only member of Team Tang Su Yuk who didn't make top 100? Uh, 
Yeah, sadly, Gosong, 17 votes, made it into 103rd. Uh, and then 101st place is a tie uh, just outside of the top 100 between V and Dataviol. Uh, so with 18 votes each, they didn't quite make the top 100. And into our top 100, I made the censored version so that I could surprise you, reveal them to you 10 at a time, and also I could, like when I send these out to all the other Tower of God YouTubers and streamers, if they want to do reactions, then they can like use this to do it 10 at a time and keep the surprise going so they can guess and predict who they think are in the next 10, you know what I mean? Uh, but I did put our information up here. I did not mean for it to look this way, but the way I did the Tower of God character popularity poll thing up here, and then the information for the poll up here, it looks like one of those, like, advertising pamphlets that you see places or, like, that you get in the mail or something. Um, didn't mean for it to look like that, but that's totally what it looks like to me. Uh, there were 406 characters to choose from. It ran from July to August 24th again so that people in the future can know um, when exactly this took place. Uh, and there were 17,481 voters from 6,080 or votes from 6,084 voters. Uh, so yeah, insane. Thank you all so, so much for just making this a possibility. That is, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. And again, like I've said, I have worked. Oh man, I did this as a community project for everyone, but I've put so much work into it. I'm so tired. I am definitely going to be, uh, I, I'm probably not taking like a break break, but I'm definitely easing up a little for the next week or so after this. Uh, but let's get into uh, number 91 through 100. So for 100th place, there's actually a four-way tie for 97th. With 19 votes each, you have Rogwell or Angel. Let me just zoom in more. Screw it. Uh, that looks good. Uh, you got 19 votes. You have R R Ragwell slash Angel. You have Aka Williams. You have Rowan Yuya, who's a surprise to me. Top 100 Rowan. And you've got Ari Bright Sharon making it into the top 100. Give us more Ari Bright Sharon CU. Why are we Why are we with Hachoni? Give me more Ari Bright Sharon. Where'd she disappear to? Uh, in er, 96th place, uh, there is Cheng Blarode with 21 votes. Good for Cheng. Uh, still holding out some kind of hope that he could somehow maybe still be alive. Somehow, I hope. And then actually a five-way tie. A five-way tie for 91st place uh, with 22 votes each. Kukaku Ra Kukaku Ka made it into the top 100. Uh, what a good meme character. That's, that's a good one. For everybody that voted for him, that's a good meme character. Um, you got Ron May in there, who's an interesting one, so much more high than Varagarv. Uh, the Blue Thrissa, who's been a surprise for the entire character poll, getting the votes that he has. Uh, that's a pretty wild one. Uh, Daddy Yuan Sung making it in here, and I just added him in like the last chapter or two when we got to see him, so he hasn't even been up here for like a full two weeks. But Povidal Mat or Mate Mate Matt uh, Ha has made it into the top 100 with 22 votes. That's crazy. That's nuts. Next up, uh, this one's a little weird because of ties, uh, but we have your 80s, your top 90 here. So there's another four-way tie here for uh, 23 votes, 87th place between the Black March Spirit Quant Blitz. Prince and Eurasia ends a hard. All with 23 votes, tying for 87th. Uh, for 83rd place, there's also a four-way tie. Four-way tie between Wang Nan's mysterious weapon. That's a weird one. Um, Kuhn Hoshling or Hotsling, Blueberry, uh, Beta, and Beto Beto. Beta and Beto. Beto Beto getting more votes than either day is uh, crazy. Uh, the Body of Venus. I love um, Hockney's Muse. I love it. Um, Beto Beto and Beta making it characters I like. And in 82nd place with 26 votes, Lopobia Haracha. Haracha pulling these votes. Good for Haracha. Uh, good for the Haracha fans out there, I suppose. <laughs> Jumping into the top 80 now, we've got a, a tie for 80th place here, actually, between Baylord Wong Long, and this is why it was kind of mismatched. A tie for 80th place between Baylord Wong Long and Boro, both with 29 votes. Uh, then a three-way tie for 77th with 30 votes each between Kang Horyang, or Kang Horyang, Kang Horyang, 
uh, Sachi Faker and Lo or I almost said Lopobia. I'm pulling an official line translation and getting them mixed up. Uh, Pobedal Bellarier. Yeah, wow, Pobedal Bellarier pulling the 30 votes. Wow. Um, in 75th place, there's actually another tie here. Uh, 31 votes each for Lopobia. I almost said Pobedal this time. Lopobia Perdidi. And Jordan, my boy Jordan the Goat. I love Jordan. Uh, in 70, a weird one the entire way through with 32 votes, 74th place, Data Yurik Mazano. I, I feel like Data Yurik didn't do much of anything. Maybe I'm just not remembering, like, completely lucidly. Uh, but yeah, I don't remember Data Yurik Mazano doing all that much to warrant this when you could have just voted for real Yurik, you know what I mean? Um, it's a bit of an odd one. Uh, and then a three-way tie again for 71st or 71st place between Evan Edrock, Quietro Blitz, and the long-tailed tit, the mother long-tailed tit, with 33 votes. Gonna have... <laughs> oh, God, I'm gonna have the word tit on every other Tower of God YouTuber and streamer's video or stream. Oh, that's gonna be hilarious. Um, yeah, 33 votes each for all of them, and that brings us to our top 70. Got some top 70 stuff going on, and uh, it is, uh, it's kind of wonky again because of ties. I felt like cutting off all three of these would look even weirder than just adding an extra, so I just did 60 through 70 here. Uh, we have, with 34 votes, Adori Zahard. Uh, with a, uh, a tie with 36 votes in 68th place, head-on in Data Kun Marco Asensio. Uh, Another tie here, a four-way tie, actually, uh, for 64th place with 37 votes. Mule Love, Hana Yu, bring her back. We got Mule Love, Hana Yu, Lopobia Lafav, and Aria. And as, as I was watching the votes, um, again, as the person doing admin and stuff for all this, as I was watching the votes, I was always like, see, Aria was like consistently ahead of Lafav, and I was like, fight, Lafav, fight! Catch up to Aria, we need to have more votes than Arya, come on, I'm like full-on team Lafav, I love Lafav. Uh, but at least she managed to tie Arya in the end, uh, for both of them being new characters from the nest. So, uh, yeah, let's go Lafav. Uh, for 60th place, a four-way tie once again, uh, with 38 votes. Uh, also, there is only one tie in the top 50, so don't expect to see very many more ties. There's only one in the top 50, and it's only a two characters that tied with each other, like really close to the top. But either way, 60th place, we got Dada Zahard, Arie Hone, Ha Yura, all pulling 38 votes, and also Ed and Dan, Ed and Dan in 60th with 38 votes. Now revealing everything but the top 50, uh, above Ed and Dan with 39 votes, you have got, I'm so happy about this one, Moontari, is that boy, Moontari, top 60, 39 votes, I love Moontari. Uh, a tie for 57th place with 41 votes between Lopobia Ren and Lopobia Shilio Zahard, who had a really big jump towards the end to make it up here, because I remember she didn't have very many votes at all for a while. Um... So yeah, both of them pulling 41. Another tie for 55th place uh, between the White Clone slash Arie Albelda. I usually just call her Albelda. I think a lot of the official, like, Tower of God merchandise or, like, tie-ins with mobile games and stuff just call her Albelda. Um, so, yeah, we got Albelda with 43 votes, tying with Daniel Hatchet. We got Daniel and what's left of Rowan uh, tying for 50th, or 55th place. Uh, great to see Daniel this high. Character that I really enjoyed. I know a lot of other people did. And then I love this too. Mother and son beside each other. So adorable. Uh, 47 votes gets Baylor Doom in uh, 54th place, which again, <laughs> compare that to just Paul. Poor Paul. He is just in the dirt. Um, you got Nenea with 48 votes uh, in 53rd place. And then a tie for 51st place, just not making the top 50. Fonseca Luray and Sophia Tan. Sophia Tan is really cool. To get 49 votes being a kind of new character, that's really, really awesome. And I really like her design. Um, I'm a big fan of FUG. So it's like I'm happy for, but Fonseca Luray not making top 50 is nuts. I know that like in the later series, 
he's just not there. He just doesn't do anything. He's not there. But in the early series, I feel like whenever I watch people doing read-throughs or reactions or reacting to the anime, everybody loves Lorray. So that was like, that one came as a surprise to me. That one was a surprise that he didn't even make top 50 is nuts. Especially when the top 35, the top 35 all pulled over 100 votes, which again is absolute insanity. 35 characters with over 100 votes is nuts. So to have Lorray not even make top 50, it's crazy to me. It's crazy. I really expected Lorray to be more popular, honestly. Okay, let's reveal the top 50. Uh, here we go. In 50th place, Sun Wu Nare. Sun Wu Nare pulling 52 votes, getting into the top 50. Uh, replacing her with Verdi was not the move, apparently. Uh, nuts. Crazy. 52 votes for Sun Wu Nare. 55 for Phantominium, who we have not even seen. Or Phantominium. Phantominium. 49th place. 55 votes. Crazy. And in 48th place with 57 votes, Leviathan. I I don't get this one. This is one I will admit to you all, I don't get. Uh, Leviathan, wow. Wow, shout out to the, Le to the Leviathan fans, I guess. I, I don't get this one. Um, you got Novik with 58 votes in 47th place. I love Novik. Wish he was even higher, but uh, good for him at the very least. And then Kun Marco Asensio, the real one, coming in 46th place with 59 votes. Uh, moving into the top 45, you got Ho with 60 votes. This is another crazy one. Ho with 60 votes in 45th place. Uh, 44th place with 62 votes uh, is Data Kun Masheni. Uh, so again, yeah, I could see that one. People like Dad Machene. Um, Mi Sang, 43rd place, 64 votes. I love Mi Sang. Mi Sang's one of my favorite characters. Uh, so yeah, good for her making it that high up. Uh, I know that, like, Mi Sang isn't everyone's favorite character. Uh, so yeah, it's great. It's great that she made it that high. And then in 42nd place with 65 votes is Serena. And that's, again, it's crazy. Like, I get liking Serena. I get it, because like, you read season one, Serena's good, and then you watch the anime, the anime makes her even better by adding stuff. But wow, 42nd place is above Novik, above Misang, um, above so many of these other, like Nen Nen and Doom, wild to me. Above Lorray, Ho and Serena are well above Lorray. It's, it's insane to me. I, I am shocked. I'm surprised by that one a lot. Um, own Raptor with 80 votes. I love Raptor, uh, making it into 41st place, almost top 40. Uh, but there is some competition up here. Like I said, 35 characters with over 100 votes is crazy. Absolutely nuts. And then we hit our top 40. In the top 40, you've got Arie Inietta with 84 votes. Uh, then 39th place with 85 votes. You've got Grace Arlen there. Uh, with uh, 92 votes in 38th place, Lopo Bia Lilio Zahard, who again, being in the most recent chapters, uh, definitely got lucky with a bit of recency bias. Um, so, you know, good for Lilio, good for Lilio. Uh, Poe Badao Gaston with 97 votes, uh, making it into 37th place, and then 36th place, only two votes away from making it into the 100 vote club. Uh, was Ledoro, another one of my characters that uh, I consider, like, I have so many characters that I consider favorites, but Ledoro somewhere in that grouping. Uh, then moving into the 100 vote club, top 35, 35th place was Dewan with 102 votes. Crazy. And then Arie Vicente with 111 votes. Uh, Data Kun Edwan in 33rd with 114 votes. And 32nd with 115, Shibisu. Which is, again, ah, oh man, it's kind of sad. Shibisu not making it into the top 30. Man, that's, that's kind of sad. Like, it's really cool that he got over 100 votes. But also, not making it into the top 30. That kind of stings a little. Uh, but Shibisu's there, 31st place with 116 votes. Uh, all three of these only one vote apart with 116 votes. We have Cha, who, uh, yeah, I think a lot of people started out maybe a little torn on him, but uh, especially lately, it seems like people really, really love Cha. 
top 30 time and time for maybe some surprises for some of you. We have in 30th place with 124 votes, Kun Masheni, who is, you know, reasonable, popular, uh, 125 votes, 29th place, Enryu, who is so cool. One of the coolest lore characters, and we actually got to see a little bit of him. Uh, this is our one tie in the top 50, and it's a tie for 27th with 130 votes between Zahard and Garam. Crazy. Garam has more votes than Masheni. Wow. So yeah, 27th. Tie between Garam and Zahard. And then, not making it into the top 25, again, that hurts a little, but it's cool that he has 135 votes. Uh, we have Hatsu. Hatsu made it 26th place, 135 votes. Uh, and then, maybe a surprise for a lot of you, Rabbit Girl fans, eating good, Team Jaja, this is the dub. Like, oh man, 25th place, 142 votes. Team Jaja is winning tonight. Uh, we got 24th place with 143 votes. Anaxa Hard, the original, the daughter. Uh, well, I guess not the original, but the original for us reading. Um, but yeah, wow, Jaja was only two votes away from beating the entire Shibisu trio. Crazy. Uh, 23rd, Evan Kell with 160 votes. 22nd, this one pains me. Paracul with 100 and. 92 votes. I just, I feel like there were so many characters I was rooting for, and then Paracul is just sitting here, almost top 20, 192 votes. And the whole time, we have Kalavan in 21st here with 195 votes. The whole time, I just, I was like, please give us a top 20 without Paracul. I'm like cheering Kalavan on. I'm like, you're the buffer, Kalavan. You're the buffer, keeping him away from the top 20. Fight, Kalavan, fight. Um... So yeah, Calavan and Pericule coming 21 and 22, and now, now you get to see our top 20. Now entering the top 20, which is basically just like FUG tier, Slayer tier, FUG tier, uh, we have our top 20 here. Uh, in 20th place, Karaka with 239 votes. In 19th place, Baylord Yama with 264 votes. In 18th place, you have Kunran, who honestly may be, like, there was so many, like, position changes towards the end. So many characters fighting for positions in the top 20 uh, that I thought Kunran could have been higher. Uh, 283 uh, votes for Kunran in 18th. 285 for Ha Jin Sung in 17th. 286 for one of my favorites, David Hockney in 16th place. I love Hockney. And then, oof. Crocodile fans in the dirt. Oof. One of the three main characters. Ouch. Rack in 15th. 15th with 291 votes. That's a lot of votes. It is. And it's impressive to be up here for other characters who aren't main characters. But third place in terms of screen time. One of the main trio. 15th. Ouch. That one hurts. Especially, I like Rack. Rack might even be my favorite of the main character trio. Probably is my favorite of the main character trio. Ouch, Rack. Um, 292 votes. 14th place for one of my two favorites, Yuan Sung. I always go back and forth between Yuan Sung and Joaquin as my favorites. Uh, so Yuan Sung, 292 votes. 14th place. Happy for him. Uh, and then 293 votes, again, just one vote apart for these three. The characters in the top 20 were fighting for positions. Uh, 13th place is Elaine slash Kaiser with 293 votes. Then a jump to 311 votes for Lopobia Traumare. Nuts. That's a crazy amount of votes for Traumare. And then 11th place, my favorite character, uh, well, kind of fights back and forth with Yuan Sung. Adie Joaquin, or White, with 318 votes. <sighs> I was I was fighting so hard. Joaquin's like my favorite. I usually put him even above Yuan Sung. I was like, go, top 10, top 10, let's go, Joaquin. But nope, didn't quite make it. 318 votes. Super happy he's in 11th place. 318 votes is a lot. But like, man, 
my favorite character didn't make the top 10. Uh, but again, I feel like the top 20 is like a bunch of my favorite characters. When you tell me to list favorite characters, I always say like Joaquin, Yama, Hockney, Elaine, Yuan Sung, Rack. Rack is always among my favorites. Like, So it's like a bunch of my favorites just were in the top 20, but not top 10. Uh, one of my favorites is in top 10. We still got to get there. So let's go ahead and reveal those. All right, time to reveal the most popular characters. Our top 10 here. Starting out, we have Yan Yiwa slash Yiwa. And again, before any of their reactions, don't go spoiling other Tower of God YouTubers or streamers. Uh, after seeing this one, this one was a surprise to me because it feels like for the entirety of the character poll, Rack and Joaquin were fighting each other for the 10th place spot. And then like, again, right towards the end when everybody's getting in their votes for like that last week and a half, like, there are people fighting for Yuwa, people fighting for Yuan Sung, for Elaine, for Traumare, um, for Hockney, any of them, for Jin Sung even, any of them could have made top 10. Like, they were all fighting for it, and Yian Yuwa ended up with 345 votes to make it into the top 10. Uh, ninth place was Yurik Mazano with 348 votes, not that far ahead of Yuwa. Um, and then another, another surprise, like me doing the updates week to week and stuff might make it a little bit less of a surprise, but it's pretty surprising. Uh, Yasracha with 410 votes, just a solid 8th place. Solid 8th place for the cat. Uh, then Zha Wangnan and Rachel were really close to each other for that last week or so. Uh, there were some times I'd check the results and they're only a couple votes apart. So we ended up with a 7th place Wangnan with 543 votes and a 6th place Rachel with 561 votes. Uh, so yeah, for like Rachel being a good antagonist, the Rachel Defense Force really, really out here with the votes. Uh, then 5th place the favorite character of mine that I had yet to mention. All of my other favorite characters kind of getting in the top 20. Wabryun is one of my favorites. Made it into fifth place with 641 votes. Uh, and then Hayuri Zahard in fourth place with 849 votes. Absolutely crazy. Um, then we enter the thousand vote club with Kun Aguero Agnes who me, as a Tower of God YouTuber or whatever, I like to do other things. I don't like to call myself, like, just Tower of God, but whatever. As somebody who talks about Tower of God a lot, I thought that Kuneye was going to dominate this. If any of you read Hero Academia and look at Hero Academia character polls, Bakugo always, like, completely demolishes the character polls. And I thought that was going to be Kuneye. I thought Aguero Agnes was going to just be completely dominant in the character poll, nobody close to him. So I had, I did not have the right read on that situation. I thought he was going to dominate the poll. Uh, then our main character, 25th Bomb slash Juvial Grace, uh, with 1,633 votes. And then lastly, in first place, your number one most popular character in Tower of God, Endorsi slash Androsi slash Andorthy, with 2,395 votes, over 2K. And here's the thing, Androsi was like a solid third, fourth place for like the first week or two. Like the first week or two, solid third, fourth place. She was getting a good amount of votes. She would have been like right behind Kun and Bomb. She would have been around there with Yuri. But then the luck, the divine intervention, the CU intervention, she shows back up in the Manwa itself, and she just gets a massive jump. And then a couple chapters without her, but then she shows up again, another big massive jump. Um, so yeah, what a well-timed return. Like again, I'm not saying it's only because of her return, because again, she would have been up there with like Kun and Bomb regardless. She would have been up there. Like she was getting a lot of votes before. She might have been third or fourth, but she would have still been up there. But her returning at, like, just the right time, like, was one heck of a play uh, for her in, uh, in, uh, in winning the character poll. So, yeah, that's, that's where we are, top 100. Uh, I'll scroll back down through them really quick 
so that you can pause if you need to look at what or look at where anybody is in the top 100. Like I said, I'm going to be releasing these images in full, but I want to give it a little bit of time for people to try to get their reactions out without getting spoiled. Uh, so again, if my video is up before anyone's reactions, and I'm going to be trying to get it up with the speediness, um, then if it's up sooner, please don't spoil anybody. Please don't before they get to do their reactions and stuff. Uh, yeah. So I will have, I'm, I'm assuming I've already, like, uh, sent this out by the time you're seeing, well, I mean, I've definitely already sent it out. What am I saying? I'm always so used to being like, oh, time is weird because I'm recording this before or after doing something that whenever I talk about, like, when anything took place, I'm just like, I've already sent this to people. People will do their reactions when they do their reactions. I've sent this out, I'm recording this, and I'm hoping to speed post it uh, and try to maybe get it up before anybody else does. But if anybody else does, it isn't really a big deal. Like I said, I did this as a community thing. Um, so somebody, you might see somebody else before mine. Um, that's just reality. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go get this edited, try to speed, speed get this up. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Especially, though, because beyond watching this, like I said, I, I wanted this to be a community project. So, because of that, I'm, I'm just really happy that everybody came together. So many people shared and promoted this. Uh, so many people played such a big part in voting. Again, over 6,000 of you. Um, so, I, I really want to thank all of you. Uh, all of you who voted, all of you who watched, all of you who keep up with the Tower of God stuff. This is just really, really amazing to see this many people come together for like a community project for Tower of God. It's really, really, really great. Um, so yeah, I wanted to thank all of you. Uh, let me see. Sorry, I, my face cam was probably covering those vote information stuff. Uh, I guess I'll just flip back to face just my face cam though to do an outro but yeah i just wanted to give you another really big sincere thank you hey look we're back to just me um okay yeah thank you gonna do a quick outro here because i want to get this uh posted as quickly as i can uh i don't know if by the time i'm done recording this i'm gonna look at youtube or something and see that other people have already got uh theirs but yeah Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of the character poll and all that. Uh, go watch everybody else's stuff. I will be, I will be watching everybody. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see everybody's reactions and discussions. I'm, oh, I'm so excited. That's more exciting for me than the results is seeing people react to the results, including all of you. Seeing you react in the comments and what you have to say in the comments is like, oh, that's gonna be so cool. I'm so excited for that. That's that's the big thing. Um, is seeing everybody's reactions to this. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, so much for being a part of this, uh, for watching. I guess like if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of the poll results, my thoughts and not really reactions, my thoughts and discussion on them. Uh, subscribe for more Tower of God, much more on the channel. Tons of stuff coming over the, the hiatus. Uh, but like I said, for the next week or so, might be chilling a little bit. Um, just to recover from doing all this. Uh, subscribe for more. Follow on Twitter if you want. If you want a link to the Discord server. It's free and open for anyone. Ask and I can give you a link. And if you would like to help support the channel. On Patreon. It's patreon.com slash aqua of the tubes. Or a link will be in the description. But uh, yeah. Either way that's it. Thank you one last time. I know I've said it a bunch. I, I know you're probably tired of hearing it. Uh, but thank you again. And I'll see you all next time.